Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Redstone Challenge World and uh, Redstone Creations Challenge kind of world. Still making the mech suit. I didn't really think it would take this many episodes, but it's going to take quite a lot more. This is a huge project, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. And yeah, we're going to just keep, keep going. I don't think I'm going to get to do any redstone today. I'm really sorry. I... I think I might. I, I could set up some of the stuff, but I can't finish them, I don't think, today. But I'll set up some of the stuff where we kind of, what we kind of want to do. And actually, we can actually make this, this lightning cannon. We can actually, there is a command that will summon lightning. So that is awesome. We can actually do that. It's like, it's actually, I think it's an effect. But, uh, yeah, we can actually do that. So that's pretty cool. We're going to make that lightning cannon, TNT cannon, shoulder cannons right there. And actually, the, the we're in the latest snapshot, 30C, I think it is, 30C, which is the one that adds a uh, um, lot of new new tweaks and stuff. So we our frame rate is look at this, look at this. This is this is on on nearly max settings, nearly max. The only thing that I don't have max right now is uh, smooth lighting. I have it on minimum instead of max, but look over a hundred frames per second whereas the other snapshots I could barely get like I mean I, I could I could barely get anything really on max settings I could get like 30 40 but holy crap they improve so much so much stuff it's crazy how fast frames I can get now I was playing in a normal survival world I was getting like 290 frames per second on a snapshot which is crazy for snapshots for the normal game, that's not crazy, but for snapshots, which are usually notorious for being slow, that was crazy. So, in, enough of that. I didn't mean to talk about that for quite a while, but uh, I did. But we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish the back of his uh, thing right here, so his his butt doesn't hang out, basically. And we're gonna finish this up, and we're gonna work on some other things. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this snapshot. Some people aren't as impressed, I know, because they didn't really add much features with the snapshot. Um, but they had a lot of command blocks and stuff in the latest snapshots, but uh, they didn't add much features because the, the one before this was the one with bunnies. Uh, this one really is mostly tweaks. But the tweaks they did are just amazing. They're just so cool. You can get high, high frame rates. Even on my old computer, which is my desktop, I can get... I get almost 100 and I think it was like 110, 120 frames per second, which is extremely fast for how old that computer is, which is crazy. It used to get like 50 frames per second, barely, like bare minimum, bare, barely, like that's the max it would get was 50, and now it can get like 110, so this is crazy. So great, great job, Mojang, great job, pretty freaking awesome. It does have its glitches, though. Sometimes, as you see, because they revamped the world loading, sometimes when you place a block down, it becomes invisible, and it reappears like a second later. But uh, that's to be expected, just because it is a snapshot. But for the most part, just this is an awesome snapshot. One of my favorites by far, just because of the improvement they did. Just crazy. There we go. Now his butt doesn't hang out the back. I think that's how high we had it all the way around. Missing a block there. And yeah. I think think we are good. I think we are good. Okay. So now what I should do is let's look at this a little bit. We're gonna do something to these pants just, just to make them not look like basketball shorts, but that's okay. They look fine for now. Or look at this head. I'm going to actually look to see if anybody said anything on the last episode because it's been quite a while since the last episode. So I'm going to look at that real quick just to see if there was any ideas or anything. I don't think there was, but just going to make sure. Um, I think that head would look cool if it had a bit more sharpness to it. Uh, maybe some yellow or orange highlights on the head and chest as well. Okay, that's uh, Ghost Cobra said that. So may maybe some, what do you say, yellow or orange highlights? Hmm. 
Yeah, that could look cool. That could look cool. On the head and the chest. Yeah, we need to. We need to. Like, I like this emblem and all, but we. It's kind of bland around the emblem, so we need to put something there. So yeah, maybe some yellow or orange. Let's see what what orange would look like. Like, just around here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that actually might look cool. So we might, we might do that, and then. Um. You should make the power supply of the robot blow up when it's ready. <laughs> yeah, that that would be cool, but it'd be a one-time use. So that would be. I could actually set up some some t type of redstone thing where it will clone it, send it to a faraway place, like just behind it a little bit, blow it up, and then uh, a second later I'll have it clone it back. So I could do something like that, but that'd be like towards the end of the series, I think. But that is that would be cool looking. If it blew up right when it's ready. So let's look on the inside. The inside we're gonna put something. We're gonna put like a um I wanna make this into like a secret base basically. And a robot and a mech suit. I'm just gonna make every this into everything. It's gonna cook your food, it's gonna smelt your ores, uh it's gonna kill your chickens, it's it's gonna do everything. It's just gonna do everything. So let's Let's look around. I'm just going around it. I think we should add the ice into here. Like that. Oops. Oh, I can't place one there. Dang it. Oh, did I just ruin some redstone? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Just got to make sure I didn't u ruin any because that would be pretty horrible. Okay, there we go. Make that go up all the way in here. All the way to the top of the head. Like that. And I think this should have something like that. There you go. Hmm. It actually looks cool in there. Oh, and we have banners and stuff now we can use. And that is one of the things that they actually did add in the latest snapshot that people really liked. Um, one of the new items. So we can use banners. Let me see. Banner, B-A-N-N. -N. Yeah, we got these banners, which we can make all different colors and stuff. So we can put them. We're gonna. That's how we're going to decorate the inside, probably, in there. Um, let's actually... I'm going to break in here just because I want to see... We're not going to really work on much redstone in here, but we're going to do... I need something to light this place up so we can actually see what we're doing. And we're, I want to put it someplace where it's uh, not in the way. That one's in the way. So let's let's just put it up there. That's okay. This is packed ice. It won't it won't melt. But there we go. Okay. So you sit right here. You have this button that will block placed. Make sure it still works, please. Please still work. Oh, I think I screwed up some redstone. Oh man, that is disappointing. That is disappointing. We're gonna have to. Oh, cause I put them on the bottom. Dang it. Oh. Oh, I might blow this thing up again. Oh, dang it. I really hope I don't break it again. Yeah, see, sometimes you have that with the latest snapshot where it kind of glitches like that. Oh, I hope I don't break this. Oh man, I totally screwed this up. Okay, so it went like, let's not put that there, it went like that, I think it was two ticks, two ticks, and then it goes like that, and that, two ticks, two ticks, okay, moment of truth, please work, please don't blow up, oh, good, 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 okay, cool, cool, let's see, let's see if it, wait, I fixed it, no, I did not. Hmm. Maybe it was one tick. Okay, okay, let's try that this time. Whoa. There we go. F fixed it. Freaking fixed it. Man, that was... Whew. That about gave me a... That was heartache right there. That was... Wow.
I can't believe we broke that, but we fixed it. We fixed it. We're good. We're good. We're good. So that part works. I'm glad I tested it out because I, I wouldn't have known and we would have got to the last episode, tried to make sure everything works, and that wouldn't have worked. But there we go. So we got that. These ears, these we can actually take out because we made the ears bigger. So we can actually take these out to make this inside a little bit more spacious, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. So we, we could actually put the light right there if we wanted to. But there we go. So we got those. We got this thing in the back. They're gonna have we're gonna have uh that right there. I'm seeing if I can take out any more blocks. I don't think so. Yep, that one can be taken out. That one has the button on it. So actually we'll leave actually boom, look at that light right there. There we go. Okay, so you sit right here, you got the ejector seat right here. If you need to eject, you just go like this, press up, and you get ejected straight up. Kind of cool, kind of cool. But we need we need to kind of outline the places where we'll have all the other stuff. So we need to make sure that the the arm cannons can be controlled from up here. So we need a place to put them where we know they'll be put. I mean, I could do it where it has here. Let me get out of here for a second. I could do it where. Let me check the time real quick. Yeah, we're good. We can do this. Okay, I could do it where if you go in here, would have something like this, like this. Okay, just just kind of stay with me here for a second. But we'll have some. We'd have something like this. I mean, we could. This isn't definite, but we could do something like that. We would have the replica of that entire thing up there. So just imagine this is the seat that you sit on, and then we'd have two separate things right here where that are replicas and would keep checking and see if they put a certain block or something like this and when it matches that set off that arm and then with the block over here set off that arm we could do something like that that would be kinda cool but um... we could also just use a lever but I think that would actually be the coolest thing to do is something like that check for a bl certain block right there so that'd be pretty cool. So let's actually, and that will use up some of the space on the inside as well that we want to use up. Because I want to make sure that every space that is that can be usable inside the mech suit is used for some purpose. So we'd have something like that. Okay, what would be a good thing to place down? And then we'd, we'll delete it as soon as um, as soon as it goes, so you can keep placing more. I'm thinking maybe a redstone torch. Place a redstone torch over here. Torch, torch, torch. If you want to set off certain that arm, torch, that arm, torch, and it'll, it'll, it'll do it, delete it, so you can place down another one as soon as it gets taken away. I think that would be pretty cool, but I'm not completely sold on what to put there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Hmm. I think redstone torch would be the best. Redstone torch. Because, I mean, we could place a lever there. And then, but it delete it so we, the lever would have really no purpose. If you get what I'm saying. We could do that so if you're in survival you just need to bring a bunch of torches. You could place them here. Uh, shoot the TNT cannon. Okay, boom, like that. And then we could do both shoulder cannons at the same time but putting it on the back one. So actually, that is really cool. I like that idea. I like that idea. I don't know if you guys like that idea or not, but I think that would be pretty cool. So that way we don't have to put um, levers anywhere. We just leave this entire room as it is and it'll just keep checking certain blocks. So we'll have one checking this block right here, this block and the one on top of it, this block and the one on top of it, and this block and the one on top of it each one checking for a torch. And if you place any other block, it will do nothing. It has to be a torch. So we'll try that. We'll try that. I want to I want to just make sure that we can do this. So this episode we won't get too much accomplished, but I just want to make sure that is a really cool idea. So let's go over here. 
that's slash give Drake Chronic uh, Minecraft command block. Give myself a command block. We're going to put it right there. We're going to have it check. Um, there's the test for command, which we could actually put right underneath. So we just test it. But we need a way. Do I want it to constantly check it? Or another thing I could do is this is the seat. Okay, this is the seat. You could go like this, put one there, and then there's a button maybe in front, like up here, that you'd, let me get a button real quick, that you'd press, and then that would run the thing that will check which one has it. So you go like this. I want to set off that one and this one at the same time. You can press that, they'll both get set off at the same time. Or I just want to set off that one and the two arm cannons. Press that, that check it, and set them both off. I think that would be the best way to go just because of the R uh, just for frame rate purposes basically if nothing else just because setting a comparator to it to put input output a uh, here let me get that a constant signal like that that will keep checking that creates lag and if we have three of those running at the same time in that little tiny space that would create some lag so I think we're gonna go with the button so anyways test 4 command is just test 4 and then I think we should just be able to go like this and then press that and it should tell us yes test 4 that's test for player we need to do I think it's test for block test for block I really haven't used these commands that much this command in particular Test for block, X, Y, Z. Let's test for if, okay, zero, zero, zero. We want to do it one above, one above this command block. Now let's do two above this command block, two above this command block. And we want to do tile name, tile name, let's go with redstone torch. I think it's, oop. You okay? The dog sneezing back there, the backward sneeze that dogs sometimes do. Minecraft Redstone Torch. I think we can just type in Redstone Torch. And then, okay, it's expected to be Redstone Torch. Okay, so we put that. And then we want to check to make sure this is going. And we'll set this one over here to say it worked like that. This is usually how I test almost everything. Okay, so that's not doing anything. Put a torch up there. Boom! It worked! So there you go. It senses that torch. But then we have to make it so... Um, this one would go through here. And then we have this one... Uh, delete that block. But we need I need to put it in a space where it makes sense. So if I could actually put it down there that would be cool okay so we want to make that signal go down to there which let me see if it works I'm just gonna say say a T just say T okay the signals not going so we need to make the signal go like that okay it says T okay there we go and then uh, oops accidentally clicked off of it set block and I think it's how is it how does it go set block is it the coordinates first coordinates first yes coordinates first set block zero now that would be one two three four the fourth one up four zero two air okay so let's actually test that there you go deleted it okay cool and then we want to make it test one well this isn't going to get used in there exactly like this but this is just to show you guys kind of the purpose like what the the thought behind what's doing, going on so then we want to go and recheck it so we want to go like this say it worked and then we got to have this as a delay pretty long delay I think would be 
There we go. And it deletes it, but then it should check it again. So we got to make the delay even longer. There we go. And there we go. That's how it works. That's how it works. So we'd have three of those going, and this command block doesn't have to be right underneath it. It'll be somewhere in the in the torso probably. Man, that does look so cool from down here. Look at it. It's like a really tall mountain. Like the just the like the shading up there, the, the fog. That looks awesome. But this is basically how it would work. Um, like that, you'd put the torch up there, you go like that, press a button somewhere, the button would check, it'd do something, and uh, so we'd have it go like this, we'd have it go into maybe this one, and we'd have to, we'd say something like, uh, maybe just give at P diamond, I think, I think that's just how it is, just diamond, let me check to make sure that's the case. Um, actually, we can just boom, boom, gives me a diamond, and it resets itself. That's cool. So that's what we're going to do for to set off those. We're going to have the seat go like that. So that's one side, that's one side, that's one side. You sit right here. Let's get that button back. We can put it, we can't put it right there. We can put it right there. We have the button back. You go like this. Press that. It'll do whatever you told it to do. Right now, it's just giving me a diamond. And then it'll delete that torch, as you saw. It'll take that torch away. And then it'll reset itself. So there we go. That's just kind of that's kind of the thought process that's going to go behind this. Just to show you guys um, what that's going to do. I think that will be cool to set off the cannons, I think. So we could we'd have three of them set up. So you go like that press the button and it delete it doesn't delete these two because there's nothing right there but there you go and then it set that off I think that's be pretty pretty dang awesome so guys I hope you like this episode I know I didn't really accomplish much but I think we got some great ideas coming out of it um, we're gonna do some orange highlights I think like the one guy said we might actually do that explosion thing and we're going to set the um, things so they're actually not buttons. You just place a torch and it'll automatically go. Well, there'll be one button to control it, but torch and that'll set off the cannons. I think that'll be really cool. So, guys, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I hope you're enjoying this series. It's, it's going to be pretty long, but I think it's going pretty awesomely. And he looks just amazing from down here. Just look at that here. Let's get far away. Look at that. That is cool. So guys, I hope you like the video and I'll see you guys next time.